Welcome to our five on five. Pleased to be joined again today by Kate Lasky, the executive director of Josephine Community Library. Good to see you. Thanks nice so much for being here. Nice to see you. Here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, welcome back. So tomorrow, an exciting time for the it's library big. system. Yep. So you guys are going back to 40 hours a week. Tell us how exciting this is. It's fantastic. We've been working on this for 10 years. Volunteers have worked really hard to keep the libraries open after uh, we lost funding in 2007. So it's a long time. Yeah, it is a long time. And now we're open 40 hours a week in Grants Pass starting this week. And we haven't had that many hours since the 1990s. Wow. Very, yep. very, very awesome. For it you is. Guys. It and is. We're excited. For the community as well. So how did we get here? How did, what happened and, and how did you guys get it back well, on track? Well, gosh, in 2007, uh, the libraries were defunded, just lack of funding in Josephine County government. And then volunteers rallied. They came together. They reopened their libraries as a nonprofit. And boy, just spent blood, sweat, and tears to keep those libraries open, raising donations for all those years. That was probably a total of about eight years. Wow. Yep. And, okay. and then put it back to the voter in 2000, or last year, mm -hmm. 2017, in May, exactly 10 years after the exactly? closure. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. To and the day. You guys got what you were looking for. The community we did. responded and supporting you. And the, the yes voters. Very exciting. Okay. Big thank you to all those yes voters out there. There you go. And so I want to ask you about this Dolly Parton Imagination Library. What is this? It's a really wonderful uh, book giving program where all the children in Josephine County age birth to five can receive a book a month for free, thanks to the local Rotary Clubs in Josephine County. Okay, Dolly Parton, everyone knows who that is. What, well, yeah. what is her connection to Rotary? She is a Rotarian, and she is a powerful supporter of children's literacy, especially those early learning years, their critical years. She just gave away the, her 100 millionth book to wow. a child across the globe. It's Impressive. A, it's a wonderful program. And all of the books are age appropriate. They come to your home with the child's name on the mail, so they get their own mail and wow, they build their own exciting. library. Yep, so folks can sign up for that program by visiting our website or emailing us at info at josephinelibrary.org. The program launches on May 1st, uh, sponsored by the Rotary Clubs, mm -hmm. so we aren't really starting to send out the books until May. Okay, but, but who can participate in it? Everyone who lives in Josephine County within okay. that zip code area. Okay, and they get a book a month from zero to five? From zero to five. Wow. Yes. Talk about a way to encourage reading. Very nice. Yes, because reading starts really young. Very good. Okay, we're going to take a quick commercial break. But much more in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Kate Lasky from Josephine Community Library. So we're talking about the importance of early education and, and getting these kids reading and talking yep. to your children and talking about the Dolly Parton Imagination Library starting in May. People can sign up for that now, right? They, they really can. Yeah. We, you can put them on a list and there we'll email the link out to them. You can sign up for that program online. You don't have to come into the library to do it. Very nice. And yep. Jos so Josephine County residents mm -hmm. who, who they get a book every month from zero to five. For zero to five. Life. And for all their children. So if oh. they Okay. have more more than one child wow. in those early years um, they'll get two books excellent yeah mm -hmm. it's, it's a great way and kids get it in the mail so that's very exciting I know it's very kids. exciting yeah my kids love that all right so I want to ask you about story times that's something great. you guys do and, and it's common in many libraries here in Jackson County as well yep why are those so important oh gosh because those were so language based and all of our academic careers really built on those early reading skills. And we learn our early reading skills just from listening and speaking. And it starts as early as infancy. So those story times at your public libraries, they're great for your babies. Hmm. So for example, in Josephine County we, at Grants Pass, we have a, a baby rhyme time on Thursdays at noon. And they really sing and play and talk to one another and they learn those basic literacy skills that early. Really easy to replicate those at home. Okay, and, and what, do, what do parents need to know about finding the right book? Oh gosh, um, just follow the child's lead. I think most kids are naturally attracted to uh, story mm -hmm. and they just want to read a good story or point to pictures. So follow, follow the child and find out what they want to read. And with those, the really littles, they're going to have board books. And they might even chew on those board books, yes, but that's, that's okay. <laughs> I got one right there. Okay, and, and one, one good tip that people may not know, if kids are in a rut with, with their books or something, you've got a great way for people to get out of that. Oh, yeah. We have a, a canine reading buddies program, so you can read <laughs> to dogs. And it's a great way to, to encourage your child to read out loud. And that kind of gets them out of the rut because they're, maybe they're afraid to make mistakes, 
but a pet or a dog is a non-judgmental listener and a really great reading buddy. That makes so much sense. I love it. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I haven't thought of it before, but definitely going to take it home and use it. That's great. Good to see you. Thanks nice so much to see for you being too. Here. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.